Imagine having your offense keep the defense on its heels every single play. Today, I'm going to show you how to combine the speed and versatility of the spread option, the smash mouth mentality of the power spread with a secondary shredding vertical passing attack wrapped into a single unstoppable playbook in EA College Football 25. This is a game changer you don't want to miss. Hit the like button to drive up the traffic and let's lock in. By the end of this video, you'll have all the tools you need to skunk any defense in EA College Football 25. Let's start with the foundation of this playbook, the spread option. The spread option is all about spacing and forcing defenders into one-on-one -on -one situations where they have to make quick decisions. We're talking about spreading the defense horizontally, creating those critical running lanes and opening up opportunities for quick passes. But here's the kicker, the option element. With plays like zone read, triple option, and midline, the quarterback makes those reads, deciding whether to hand it off, keep it, or even pitch it, depending on how the defense reacts. The goal here is to make the defense wrong no matter what decision they make. This is the bread and butter of the spread option, stretching the field horizontally, getting your playmakers in space, and keeping the defense guessing. This is where I use a lot of 10, 11, and 12 personnel sets. It gives a great balance to be able to run the ball, but also pass when needed. Now, while the spread option is about speed and finesse, we're going to add some muscle to this playbook with the power spread. The power spread brings a physical element that can wear down a defense over the course of a game. We're using lead blockers, pulling guards, tackles, and even H-backs to create gaps and pave the way for our running backs. This strategy is handy when you need to control the clock or when you're facing a defense that loves to blitz. The power spread lets you dominate in short yardage situations and keeps the defense under constant pressure. And remember, it's all about balance, using the power element to keep the defense honest while still maintaining the threat of the spread option. Here is where my personnel sets get crazy, making it nearly impossible for the defense to adjust. I incorporate 12, 13, 14, 20, 21, and 22. Many of these formations are unbalanced and even have the option to go tackle over or jumbo, replacing smaller, faster players with bigger, stronger ones. However, if you have a team stocked with versatile tight ends, there's no need to sub them. You get the best of both worlds. All right, we talked about stretching the defense horizontally and the power runs right down the pipe, but we're not done yet. Let's add the vertical passing attack to the mix. This is where big plays happen, where we stretch the defense vertically and force them to respect the deep ball. I added this element after studying Sean Payton in the New Orleans Saints 2009-2010 offense, where they frequently caught teams off guard by pounding the rock, stretching the field with deep play action shots, while occasionally throwing in a few screens. By introducing deep shots, we make it impossible for the safeties to cheat up into the box, which in turn opens up more space underneath for our option and power runs. If they refuse to respect it, we will nickel and dime them to death with RPOs and screens. But it's not just about going deep for the sake of it. It's about exploiting matchups. Find that cornerback who's overmatched, that safety who's too eager to step up and make them pay. The vertical passing attack adds another dimension to our offense, making it unpredictable and nearly impossible to defend. Now that we laid the groundwork, let's talk about the formations that make this playbook so lethal. These are my personal favorites, the sets that give defenses absolute torment. First up is Pistol Train. This unbalanced formation is a staple in my playbook because it's perfect for downhill runs. The lead read option in this set forces the defense to make quick decisions. If they overcommit to the strong side, all it takes is one move and we're gone. But the real beauty of Pistol Train is the stretch play. It's one of the best in the game, allowing us to hit the edges with power and speed. If the defense can adjust, I'd run this play over and over like Gus Malzahn calling the inside zone. Next, we have Split Wing Nasty. Don't let the simplicity fool you. This formation only has three plays, but they're all you need. The Motion O Power is a grinder, almost guaranteed to get you three to four yards every time. And if the defense starts to key in on the run, the read option is there to break it wide open. This set is all about consistency and wearing down the defense. Not to mention, it's perfect for the red zone, including a play action pass with a bit of eye candy to confuse the defense. Now, let's move to F Twins Over. This formation is where things get fun. The jet touch pass is one of the most effective plays in EA College Football 25, especially when your opponent doesn't have a quick answer. But what makes F Twins Over deadly is the quarterback counter. It's the perfect setup after hitting them with the jet touch pass a few times. The defense thinks they got you figured out, and you send the big uglies pulling the opposite way for some easy yards. Also, what good is a playbook without money plays? Check out Duo Over, Fake Toss Verticals. This play is clutch, especially when you got a running back who's fast and has good hands. You want to set the defense up with inside zone, read triple option, and quick RPOs. Eventually, the defense might expect a run, but we're hitting them with vertical routes and a running back reel that can break things wide open. Don't be shy about opening up the game with this one. And finally, if you need something for two-point conversions, I run the monster set. 
This set gives us an A11 look, which is rare and difficult to defend. The RPO zone alert here is all about reading the defense. If there are two men or less in the box, we run it. Four or more, we check which side doesn't have enough men and pass. And if they adjust perfectly, we have the audible ready or the option to call a timeout. When executed correctly, it's simple, effective, and almost impossible to stop. I made this hybrid offense specifically to apply maximum pressure on defenses. Here are some key points for running it effectively. We want to stretch the defense horizontally with the spread option, apply physical pressure with the power spread, and threaten vertically with the deep passing game. This forces the defense to cover every inch of the field, limiting their ability to stack the box or provide deep coverage. Second, keep the defense guessing. Make it problematic for them to anticipate our next move. Unpredictability creates opportunities for game-changing plays and sustained drives. Remember, the offense is versatile, allowing for adjustments in any situation. Whether facing a blitz-heavy man defense, a disguising zone scheme, or a defense that crowds the box, we have the tools to exploit their weaknesses and take control of the game. We dictate the defense, not vice versa. With my playbook, you're creating an offense that can adapt, dominate, and dictate the game on your terms. Whether you're gashing defenses with powerful runs, stretching them thin with options, or taking the top off with deep shots, this combination gives you the tools to keep defenses guessing and the scoreboard lighting up. So if you want to be unstoppable in EA College Football 25, this is the blueprint to follow. The playbook link will be in the description below. Thank you guys for continuing to show love to the channel. Work is picking up, so I'll try to drop a video a week or maybe a stream. We're on the road to 10,000 subs and becoming a top content creator in College Football 25, and it all starts with you. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for the Nota Gang alerts. Leave a comment on what you'd like me to cover in the next video. Until next time, Senpai out.